now you're seeing something positive, a positive outcome out of Hiko as well. A change of play style too. Switching over to a Sova and his shock darts are just amazing. But Cloud9, the reason why I'm not talking about them that much, it's because we already know how amazing they are. They have tens, but he's the first one to fall. But they're still looking to battle back here towards his B side. As you see relics with a Bulldog. So I wonder at this point if they just wanted to go for this surprise buy and Fight try to get up. something done here with the, with the Bulldog in the second round. Yeah, that's really interesting. See if it yeah. pays off at all. But, uh, you know, that said, Cloud9, you're just hey, going into a round like this where you're not likely to win it. You're already down a man. You have your, your raised players already at low HP. There's a lot of, of reasons to believe that Hunter Thieves is going to clean this round up nicely. But hope for a bomb plant, maybe a killer too. Dicey will find the first. Relics falls. One enemy remaining. With a second, Austin picks up one as well. And it's just Vice once again over at Octagon area. Sorry, Hookah, I believe. Can't even tell with this smoke. He's out in front of it. <laughs> they still haven't left. found him. Amazingly, Flawless. he's not going to be able. He's not going to be able to pick up any kills. But that was amusing for just a moment. And I, I think you're heard from Mitch. Then they fell back into B. Then you put an Al drone on the attacker side just to keep them into B, so you could explode into the A sign. And they still have to go left. into a three stack, but it's still going to be a late rotate. So a good opening for Cloud9 right now, especially now that they get the entry frag too. So the first one to fall, Tent is moving in with the Bucky, <laughs> and that's one and two to fall. And that's a five on two to start things off. And it's looking to be a flawless round, at least for now, because that could be the nail in the coffin to force the last few players to save. But we are not done yet with Tens. He's already at pipes in the defender spawn. As soon as his opponent comes around the corner of Asuna, he comes in with a right click. Another headshot to come through, and now he upgrades. This is such a good gun round. 400 Thieves so far, uh, sorry, four Cloud9 so far, as Dicey is stuck with the Bulldog on the top of Heaven. He at least gets one for his work, but he's about to get pinched right now towards the end of the round, and it should be the round coming in for Cloud9. At the least a second kill, now he's down to 2 HP through the smoke, and that's it. Tens opening things up with a 4k. Maybe a B split. We do still see a kill join the other side of the map, but information games are being played currently at dash towards elbow a bold move from tens a little bit of a gamble just hoping that nobody was over there in that position but steel rock solid over there and cubby nitro and austin are both chiming in with their own in a nice clean round from 100 for that fight because yeah. tens was already through u-haul and the site is clear for cloud nine that's the power of that hunter's fury van tilly is just yeah pushing the d-back I, I think it's also the you fact that run. since Steel died early into the round two, it kind of keeps run. Nitro guessing as like, okay, well, I'm out of position this time too because he's out in the open behind Powell. That being said, though, right. we do have a plant coming through from Clout9. It's a five on three. Looking to be secured for a third round for the attacker side to tie, tie things up on this first half. As Dicey is looking to retake this, though, he's flown in the air. He gets the first kill onto Shinobi, and Asuna chimes tri in for another kill. But in the end, it's still a three versus one. Asuna looking to clutch it, and Mitch stops him in his tracks, putting a third kill into the round for himself. And this is not a good look for 100 Thieves so far, but planted. bombs, the play, <laughs> excuse me, the spike will get planted. And now at a two on three, scenario when you do have an operator on the retake as i mentioned this is this is a, a rough spot for 100 thieves to be in maybe an opting a, a situation where you want to opt to save it i'm not I don't sure know, man. Though, man silly you got you got dicey you got hiko so hiko pulls out the recon dart but with this three stack he's gonna do a bit of damage here on the right side onto the silver vice on the other side but as soon as he peeks, he gets the double kill looking for that third but vice trades it out it's up to a one versus one and you want dicey to be alive for this but he gets pinged out by the recon and there you go vice all he needs to do is play the time that is a perfect play even if he died i don't think at the end dicey would have the time for this push from cloud nine towards hookah the crossfire is there from Steel and Asuna, so theoretically speaking, some kills should be coming out for 100 Thieves here. One and two for Steel. Cloud9 three on five, still pushing forward. Mitch One finds Asuna. Demanding. Steel gets Good his enough. third. The Roomba finds another. And now it's just Vice in a 1v3. Okay, so 100 Thieves right there, mounting a defense with the crossfire at a point that Cloud9 was aiming, aiming to protect her. Contest, rather, not mm -hmm, protest. Mm -hmm. That said, I mean, 100 okay. Thieves was ready for it. Uh, yep. And I was actually, you know, following what you were mentioning in, in the Shut previous down. round of Vice. That was beautiful, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love to see it. Get Nitro just getting deleted through yeah. that smoke. But, uh, you know, for me, I, I would love to see from 100 Thieves, I, I feel like there's a restrained level of aggression. We've seen left. Icy and Asuna both pushing out of Hookah, Long B, taking back control. Yeah. And, yeah. and they've done it, but they've limited themselves with how you know, hard the angles that they're taking, how greedy they're getting with the pushes. And there's a reason for that. Mitch is keeping them very honest with his killjoy utility. Correct. And we got 10 seconds left in this round. I don't know if Vice is going to jump out of the and try and plant this. And he may aim to. 
make it expensive, right? You've won a lot of rounds already from uh, from Cloud9, so right. I would I would understand why he's still fighting them instead of saving the weapon. Also, we're bomb site. Only two players over here. Actually, Nitro will be rotating back in. This will be three. Dicey still over there in showers. So the rotations are fine right now for 100 Thieves. They've conceded you haul to Cloud9, but on the bomb site now is Relics. Wrapping on Nitro. Easy frag there for him, but he will fall to steal. And Kiko with 100 Fury left. coming in clutch. Finding one in a Shinobi. Now it's a four on three. Cloud9 opting to teleport as an operator chimes in from 10s. A nice shot from him. But Cloud9 in this three on three knows there's only 20 seconds left, so they're held up at Hookah. Yeah. They don't quite know where this player is on B, but the challenge comes oh, out. No. Austin a whiffs. Does not Ten land his shot to the bomb plant. Should be going down, but pain shells come, come out. Remain. Is oh, it enough? No. no. Bomb plant comes through. The kill will come out, but it's just steel now in a 1v2. Vice. Tens. Denying entrance to the bomb site from Hookah. Tens with three on the round. The jet up. Now we're looking for some Hookah control. That is going to be Mitch. And some information actually being thrown uh, from Asuna, who manages to get that kill. So that's a great start, at least to try to make it a 7-5. 7-5 is not too bad here from the looks of 100 Thieves, especially when you see how many times Cloud9 were able to take these sites quite easily. But you're still able to claw it back, battle it back, and turn this into a close game. They know now that Nitro is playing inside you as that paranoia came out, doesn't affect anybody here, and they don't get any information out of that because left. nobody tried to peek towards the cubby where Dicey is currently watching from the heavens, and now with all of these smokes, we're maybe going to try to bait something here. So one went through. We're still trying to battle it back versus Asuna, but Nitro goes from you the shadows run. behind them and got one two kills out of it. Standing. Wow. What a play from Nitro. Ten seconds oh my left. God. It's, it's just relics over here at short. Eight seconds left. There's no way he's going to get a bomb plant. Nitro finds his third. What a move. The pressing, but certainly your morale is a little bit lower than it should be at this point in the game. Yeah, it does hurt. It does sting. Shinobi finding a cheeky frag on Dicey. They still know he's inside of that teleporter. He's only got 35 HP, so... They're going to force the issue, and they'll clean it up, finding a specter for their troubles, but not before Shinobi collects two of his own. Under Thieves, on an eco, two on four. I don't see them finding a bomb plant here, but if Vice no. somehow fumbles this, uh, this hookah drop, perhaps that oh. could come to fruition. One oh. First kill well, does not happen. <laughs> and Mitch is still going to go, so there it is. Yeah, Nine, thankfully, five. because of the low weaponry that they have. So they're going to try to use tens with the judge, close range, and he gets pinged out. That's a perfect dart to come through, a recon to take down tens, but Shinobi is playing another tight angle with the Spectre and still reads him like a book. And now that chapter is closed as Relics chimes for a trade, make that a second to even up the tally. Now it's going to be a mirror match, and it's going to be Asuna that pulls on top. That allows here a spike plan to go with the last two players looking to rotate from the B side from Cloud9. Things are finally looking a little bit more positive. A little bit of rainbows coming through the clouds here for 100 Thieves. And they're, they're looking to secure this round. Cloud9 working together now from the spawn side. A nice thing from Austin as Vice Falls. That leaves now Mitch. He does have a Phantom to work with, though, so he could still put a lot of firepower in. But Asuna chimes in with the hat from the point of view of 100 Thieves. And that's going to look to secure it. We have to force him out because of that. And that's very well done. But it's going to be Shinobi. He's going to go out of that from, from the shadows back into the spawn site. And 100 Thieves are still pushing into B. So now they're running into a four-man stack inside the B site. I don't know how this is going to happen. The club burst maybe could be the moment of salvation where things slow down for them. And they decide to backtrack. But they don't. They still push through the club burst. Molly's to come out. Dicey with the noise. Dicey going for two. But Tens retaliates back with three kills of his own. Naito trying to stay alive as he takes to have. And you're roster your your agent composition strategy map it doesn't matter you still have to beat tens at his own game which is yep. turning everything into aim maps at this point like th this is this is a kovac scenario man this guy is is absolutely on fire he aim mitch laps, man. leading leading the push excuse me he's an aim lapper <laughs> finding the first one is mitch four on four this is just an eco at 100 thieves mind you so this is looking for a plant this is good getting out of the bomb site but uh Cloud9 forced back. They don't seem to mind. Willing to retake. Drop the kill joy ult. At least to secure it. May seem like overkill, but the fact of the matter is, there's no harm in securing around here, even if it is against the Nico. But uh, it seems as though the stick will come out. Under Thieves will fall. Map. I don't know, man. It should even, be the opposite. Even if it is, even if it is your map pick here, right? Like, even if this is your, your home map, this is just so tough.
Flatline Flex. is playing so well, man. So we're boomers ourselves, ahead. man. Getting five hours, six hours of sleep before having to go into work the next day. <laughs> you know, that's that's a normal thing for us. True. Boomers true. like play until 4 a.m. then you sleep for 14 hours. Yeah. I don't know. They're, you... they're showing some strength here. We see tens of relics cracking ahead. That's true. That's true. So a five on four. We're moving forward here inside. Ooh, there's a, a little gap into the cloud burst as Tens takes an advantage of that and takes down Hiko. Actually, it seems as though he was on a backstab from Teleporter. So we're gonna have a Killjoy ult coming out. This is gonna push the defender spawn away, and he does get spawned by Vice in the back of the spawn. But thankfully, that means we have an open site all the way. A counter Hunter's Fury to come through. But it's still going to be the plant coming down with the five on three. And this allows right now two players at low HP. Uh, uh, moment of salvation, 400 Thieves, where hopefully they have the right crossfire setup. You do have one flank inside the showers area who decides to go towards short. He's going to meet up with his teammates. Steel has to come up huge again, and he does so. He eats a little bit of the silver dart, but he still gets the hat trick. Just like that, it's a two versus two. Two opponents low on HP on each side. As we have tens moving forward, but the crossfire is still true. Nitro to fall in. Steel once again has to come up huge. He has to go for the ace. It's a third cover. He's sticking a spike. The knife comes out, and he does not oh, make him taste steel. He does get the completely gone from the bomb set altogether. But tens sure to make contact here in just a moment. Gets a flash out Woo. from the breach. Collects a dink, but it's not enough. Nitro sealing the deal with a headshot from that ghost. Nice play from him. Relics able to trade that back out. Four on four now. Hundred thieves forced back. Out of B. Steel actually, as I say that, finding a nice kill on a relics. Hiko finds one of his own, but Mitch with the frenzy, with frenzy man. pushing at CT, finding two of his own. Now it's a two on two. Hundred thieves in retake mode, pushing out of market. Both moving towards that bomb site. Mitch. One enemy back in boat house. Vice will find one. Dicey will collect the 1v1, and that's a nice pistol round coming out from 100 Thieves. I mean, the fact of the matter is, Cloud9 made a good call to come back towards... I still uh, saw an Ares, which is strong enough for the B side if you want to play it there. Uh, but Ooh. as we jump towards the air, Tense reads Dicey you should run. and puts a bullet between his eyes. So that's a 5 on 4. Ult is coming out from the, the, from the attackers to take control of this B site. But Hiko and Asuna continuing their spree. As they drop two of their own and through the smoke with a third to fall, that's going to nullify any type of aggression inside B. We're hoping for at least to get a spike plant once again, and we will, we will rather. Now the dart comes through. Shock darts as well from Hiko. And I mentioned it before, Hiko is good with those. Asuna sweeps up with the last kill, and we now have four unanswered wow. rounds. This is looking great for 100 Thieves to start things off here on this first half, and the same thing on that previous one, though. When I saw it all. Beautiful job from 100 Thieves. Man, pushing into the bomb site. Like the kills through smoke. Tens even entries again for his team, but finally, 100 Thieves is answering. I mean, if you're if you're able in that situation to collect a trade frag, you, you take it, right? And 100 Thieves finally converting on that. Hiko has been playing so well in this map. I mean, there was a whole lot of a lot of Twitch chat and hate going towards Hiko. And I gotta tell you, so far, the controlled play out of 100 Thieves, both on the retakes, we're talking about the recon darts, the shock darts. Moving onto the bomb site on that retake in the previous round, Hundred Thieves is looking so much more crisp on the defensive side compared in comparison to the last map, and I, I think Cloud Nine is a little stunned by the fact that you know finally Tense is getting challenged and he's losing some of these gunfights. You know, Dicey is somebody who I mentioned earlier in the uh, when we were talking about fine, just not really having the opportunities to light the scoreboard up with the operator, but. Yep. Here he is with three on the round, and and everything is going right for Hundred Thieves. Default. And they're playing it quite well, and it's just a fight back to that position. And there's mid side, they're going, trying to go for a split. Now it's even up on the three versus three, but there's not much more happening from Cloud9 yet. Yes, they have mid and B main control. They could get into B if they want to, but you still have, actually, yeah, they have three ults to work with too. So things are looking actually good for Cloud9 after all, despite the trades that happen early in their positions that are given away. Yeah, impressed so far with their ability to at least get on the bomb site. Not a full buy, as uh, previously mentioned, so. The fact they've already got two kills in this round, they're going to get a bomb plan out of it. Cloud9 already, already in a good position to win, despite the, the odds against them. I was going to say, I mean, they have a breach ult. <laughs> Yeah, they, they have a raise ult. And as long as you don't get, uh, you know, befallen to shock darts, it's definitely a commanding position. Relics, over here at B-Main, this is such a dangerous angle. Mm -hmm. I mean, having to he push him intro, off of this, and yeah, the flank will come in. Such a dangerous angle, no matter which way you're coming from, especially when he has that operator in hand. 
Steel knows he's gonna have to challenge and he oh. does collect the headshot. That's his second after dropping 10. So suddenly, this is very much 100 Thieves round. Steel dominating. Three beautiful retake frags coming in from the Killjoy of 100. Cloud9 is poised to come out here, so the rotators are already here for 100 Thieves. Albeit not completely into the bomb site. The A push comes out. Dicey finds the first onto Shinobi. Four members of Cloud9 now on A bomb site will be putting down the uh, spike. Spike planted. 100 Thieves in full retake mode, man. Oh, yeah. Even at this point, it's only now that you see Steel rotating back to the A side because he was still expecting Relics to actually get into the site. But Relics finally are into B for a lurk, but they finally push in as a team towards this A main. This might be it for Cloud9. It's like, okay, well, these splits don't work. Let's just work as a team. And they overtake the site now that they're dispatching 100 Thieves. We do have a big plan from Asuna, though. He's able to put one out. The turret comes out as well, but Steel's on low HP. Now Asuna is just going to try to make this expensive. He's already on the site. He's actually... Is he I thought he was sticking it. He was sticking but it. He I, was. I didn't see the bar come out though, so a moment for Dicey to go for that backstab too. So that was beautiful for 100 Thieves. Big hold. And now it's just going to be 100 Thieves. Continue to move forward as we have the eco for Cloud9 and still pressing forward are the defenders on the A side, getting the wins on these one versus ones. And now you're just going to try to get into the site with the uh, last three players. Long range from Hiko, fully blinded. Relics gets the kill with this. Um, Sorry, with the Frenzy, but he's not able to pick up the rifle because it's too far left behind towards that spawn. He doesn't know if there's anybody there or not. Seal's playing his pass the top goal. It's perfect. And now you only have one more to go, and he's going to drop towards that B-Mean, courtesy of Nitro. You know, 100 Thieves... 100 Thieves is absolutely playing at the skill level of Cloud9 now, and the fast push comes in. Asuna picks up one, but Mitch has already claimed a frag on the Nitro, so this dance Whoa. around at B-Mean will go the way of Vice. Dicey over there at Boathouse is able to get one but not before being forced off the angle by that breach. And I wonder whether or not Cloud9 is even going to get access to this bomb site. Maybe they double back instead because it's a two Maybe on three now. <laughs> 100 Thieves. Yeah, 100 Thieves is rotated in. So he goes close at, at the defender spawn. But he hasn't made contact quite yet. Here it comes now. Will he be traded out? No, the, the movement has already gone towards B. So there's a two on two here at the B bomb site. And they do not realize where Dicey's position is. And they haven't cleared him out. And he oh gets my both. God. Wow. But if the comeback is going to happen, it is necessary. Tens greedily pushing up here over at Catwalk behind this Omen from Oki. That's a little bit of support, but there are four players at odd angles challenging him, and this is dangerous now. Relics bails him out. Two frags going his way. A little bit more damage for a third. Not bad, but Austin and Hiko take two lives from Cloud9. Now it's a three on two. Not entirely out of it as 100 Thieves, but... Certainly not looking likely. Low HP, Hiko. That's a low chance. Low. This is Rosa's position towards mid side, and he's looking for that flank. This is not looking good here for 100 Thieves into this round. There is that kill. And is that going to be the cue now for 100 Thieves to just execute inside this B site? Indeed it is. The first smoke to come out. Asuna charging the lead at the point inside B. He's trying to clear it out towards that staircase side, but Vice left. is in the back of that go house, aims down the site, and that's a burst to the face. Five on three now as the other three players are rushing all the way through spawn, and they're going to try to flank back towards the garden, where Dicey gets the kill onto tens on the rotation, but Relics is still alive here at the A sign. They are losing players one by one, but they are also losing time for 100 Thieves. They are now Ten rushing in, left. and Relics has the rocket. Could this be it right now? 400 Thieves in this round. Next one to one. Five seconds left, and that is no time as he was able to drop the spike carrier as well. And Cloud9 on the... You know, obviously the scoreline is reflecting that they're dominating, but the individual plays and the skill that we're seeing out of you 100 Thieves run. across the board yeah, is nothing but good news. The fact that we're seeing Steel, who only, I would say, like relatively recently transitioned to Valorant, performing the way he is, impressive. Okay. Tens with huge, huge okay. kills over B-Main and a third pressing forward. He is unstoppable when he has these knives out at times, and there it is on firm display. And Mitch cleans it anywhere they want. So this is going to make things a lot harder for 100 Thieves to take control of this area. So Nitro is going to have to come up with something to adapt versus his two operator setup. And the cat split comes out. Austin with a great kill on a relic to crack the site open. Mitch finding one in Austin, though, immediately shutting down. That a little bit of aggression that I just highlighted, and unfortunately for 100 Thieves, the, the push has slowed. C9 does have players in this bomb site, but they crept right by Shinobi, so he's he's effectively negated. Everything that I just said is wrong. That was a beautiful play from 100 Thieves to bypass that defense and just basically get in their face. Wow, 100 Thieves now. Three on two. Cloud9 not out of it yet. 
player over there at heaven that is finished with the operator doesn't find the angle takes some damage has to retreat off the angle left. and now under these 30 remaining. seconds they're gonna wrap this round up i imagine as this is now one one on three for mitch and he's at half hp the bombs get work from the heaven side and and fire down they'll have the verticality okay. advantage too so i like that idea the only difficult part is that it's pistols versus everything else but now it is going to be awesome enough looking to press back charge towards the entrance of the garage and he manages to get the first kill onto relics despite being flashed by vice's flashpoint the rest that of them now play. working towards mid or towards the a side sorry they're trying to take control of the a but it's still steel holding it back towards the a site Man, I, I love that play, that early aggression over at B, and it's paying off now as we're already in a five on two. The A players doing their job. Nitro rock solid over there, and A Heaven finds a second on the round. That's Shinobi to fall, and it's just Vice lurking around mid this breach, able to find a Vandal headshot onto Dicey. But, uh, you know, 1v4 here. Got a lot of time left on the clock, but this is a tall ass and tall order when. You know, in a lot of ways, these gunfights won't be open to you. But as I say that, <laughs> Asuna <laughs> takes the challenge regardless. And an unnecessary one at that, but won't have that much of a ramification to the next round as they will potentially keep all three players alive here. Yeah, Vice just, 30 seconds just rolling left. around, I, throwing you, some disrespect onto the body. You love to see it. He's like, you're not taking me alive. I'm going to stay into this one. You're going to win these fights later on once we have our money right, too. I mean, this is still the bonus round that you kind of had for Cloud9, despite Vice having that Vandal to start things off. I want to talk you for will. a second about that, uh, that B aggression. So we saw yeah. Yeah. basically the Roomba into a, into a nade, right? Yep. So he forces them back and is able to just swing basically through a cloud burst and spray into that general area. He had a nice, nice angle. Seems like it's due any moment now. You adapt quickly there for Cloud9, right? That is the third round in a row. You, you're trying to take pressure towards this garage, and they got caught on that second time, but this time it was a flashpoint to enable all of Cloud9 and try to get into the site, but they're still holding their grounds. Not anymore, though. They all fall. Nitro is going to be the last one to go. As he's rotating back here from ropes. He's on a two versus one, so it could still be a doable fight here if you get a kill right away. Thing is, though, he doesn't have any information whatsoever. With the exception of the spike being planted, somebody's going to be in the vicinity. But now too much time has passed where that person could be anywhere across this B site. And it's a big crossfire setup and a tag to come forward from 10 to start things off at the garage side where Nitro is trying to capitalize it back. Paranoia to try to regain control of the site. Goes for the shadow step inside his dark cover. But Shinobi... Face a uh, counter killjoy now. Or 100 Thieves will rather. Okay. Or We're actually going to teleport towards A though. To Let's go. Yeah. Rotation back to A. Cloud9 does have relics up here in heaven, but the pressure is very, very heavy, but Dice will find one with the shorty. Gets back in his face. Austin with the stinger will find one under Mitch, and this is a three-on-three, -three, a winnable round for 100 Thieves, and you have a showstopper at hand. Flashes come out. Tens retreats behind that time. Is able to collect the kill on the steel, so avoids death there. Shinobi will get Austin, but the rocket does find Shinobi. Now it's a one-on-two. Pico, known for his ability to clutch that time down. Go with the aftershock while he's stunned and get that kill. Perfect, you, um, perfect use, sorry, of the kit from Breach. Now for this round, Dicey does get the opening frag onto 10. Star fragger for Cloud9, but the second star fragger trades it back here onto the A ramp. Nitro falls. A four versus four as Asuna is pushed back from paint shells, but they already have road hitting towards the A side with nobody playing towards B actually. But Asuna and Steel still capitalizes on two left. kills. They're trying to rotate back towards this rope, towards the B, and an aperture forces Mitch to come up the ropes, but it comes up as a surprise jack in a box. Steel falls, and it's going to be a three versus two. He makes it a two versus one after he falls from the hands of Pico. Vice flashpoint in the air. One versus one. Ten seconds Ten left on the clock. Left. Pico's playing is smart. Let's just hold the off angle. There's only six seconds left, and he manages to win that fight. I mean, Vice saw that coming. He read it like main push coming in from Cloud9. Two players are already through, but there is a, uh, I believe it's a nano swarm delaying them. Mitch does get one on the nitro after being traded out. So four on four now. The bomb plant will come in, and we do have, you know, a killjoy ultimate getting placed for by Cloud9, and you have a rolling thunder on your breach. So this is a very winnable situation for Cloud9 on an eco. Mitch picking yeah. up the Phantom, finding one of the Dicey, and 100 Thieves might just stop to save here. No, nope. just waiting for the killjoy ult, waiting their timeout. Austin presses in towards screens. They do not have ramp control. Mitch in full possession. This is going to be a tough retake. 
even with an ally killjoy the rolling thunder is going to stall them so for for 100 thieves great to bait out the rolling thunder but this is a very very unlikely round for 100 thieves here yeah a shot from Pico. See if you can at least get these weapons out of their hands. Valiant effort. Nice round from Cloud9. Beautiful Eco. You know, you're barely not out of making this half a respectable one. Two more rounds, I think. Rolling into the attack side of Split. We've already got six. You know, I would hope that 100 Thieves has prepared at least enough to make that a competitive scoreline, but it's not over yet. B-Split may be coming out here in just a moment, but also has already challenged both Vice and Tens over in the mail room, so... As, as Relics is seeking to pick up a weapon here, he may be the next factor in whether or not this B site gets taken. Oh. He is, in fact, also it will fall. Got Relics claims up. one. Yeah, takes a lot of damage for his trouble. Three on four and out. Quick retreat and reset for Cloud9. Not quite sure where they want to go with the spike, but there is still a player over at ropes. So if they do decide to fall back into an A split, 100 Thieves is more than ready, and Nitro is so dangerous with this decision right now to pan out. And Cloud9 actually just breaks the uh, alarm bot inside of ropes and looks to work back towards B. So a little bit of a, a false fake there. 30 seconds left. Plenty of the should open. be wide to it, and you still have the rolling thunder over there at CT. One and Steel steals out in the open, but he's got a vandal in his hands, and the man cannot be denied. He collects two before he falls. Shinobi now in a 1v3. 100 Thieves looking to lock up their fifth of the half. So they switch over Steel towards the A side, and they have Dicey opting towards the B main. The spike was dropped there intentionally and early at the round, where it looked to be a push towards the B main side, but this time Dicey seems to be ready. Just before he got paranoia, he gets the kill against his opponent, and now they're holding their grounds on all angles. 100 Thieves, it wasn't too late. They're able to tie this up to a 6-6 to really bring this into the last half of this set best out of three to see who at least moves out of the groups with the top seed yeah looking like this is likely to be a sixth round for 100 thieves two cloud nine members remaining and they are moving towards a main mitch will win his first gunfight and vice actually collects one on a steel unprecedented movement across that a main area popping as old as hiko the rolling thunder comes out on both and he gets it. neither of those players even had a chance cloud nine has uh conceded it for the most part yeah, but they don't want to continue into the heaven side. They actually played it back into a tight angle. The Lear comes out, but the Frenzy does ring, and Asuna trades it back, so it's a one-minute advantage for 100 Thieves. They could upgrade into these weapons. They could still decide to switch back to ropes into B main, because you still have somebody lurking towards that B main. But unfortunately, Steel has fallen towards, it seems as though, towards that B main. Yes, indeed. And now it's Nitro looking back towards this heaven side smoke. And I'm not sure I mind that they tried to retake the top of A ramp there, but Questionable to not clear the corner, unfortunate. Yeah. But uh, eight, six, three on three on, on this kind of a round. Cloud9 definitely still has the advantage, and this is going to be tough for 100 Thieves to get the bomb down. Okay, mm -hmm. Relic's finding one in Austin, awesome, and that kind of tells that story succinctly. Quick frag going his way, another one yes. onto Nitro, and it's just Tico now. He actually collects the uh, ultimate orb for his troubles, so consolation prize there. If he can collect a plant and a net, they'll have his ultimate in the next round out of position as they take a one minute advantage from an aggressive push dicey trying to come up towards the a ramp again and they lose it but now they're looking to make a lot of noise here towards events so that hiko could probably go for a fault line sorry towards the a heaven and they press back on that area just to clear it that's why that dark cover is there so the fault line should be coming out and then the ropes to try to come back out all right they're just speaking one by one this is not a good idea it was a counter paranoia that came through as well and finally, Nitro gets the kill onto tens. That was a little bit of an opportunity wasted. Yeah, I was really liking what I was seeing from 100 Thieves in terms of their positioning. And it seemed like Cloud9 playing the top air ramp position was almost due to be foiled. Yeah, tens yeah, wise, do it, turns around, collects two. Relic's finding one more. And now this is just a one on four situation for Nitro. And, you know, with, with this left. much on the line, I, you know, 10 6, you can see that probably, even though you have 25 seconds left. I just don't see the reality in which he was able to plant the spike i think some sort of a push where they could put a dark cover again towards heaven side ropes to be but from the shadows comes out information is given they have three more alts to work with on the attacker side they have the rolling thunder there's a showstopper from both ends and it's going to be rocket arena but they both stay alive for now Dicey still looking back at screens. It seems as though the final hit will happen towards the A side. He dashes in, but cannot get the right click, unfortunately. 
And because of that, you capitalize on so many kills for Cloud9. Pico is going to be the last man standing. This is a big test for them to see if they can get into a site, get a post plant position without having to use any ultimates. And it starts with a body peek and a wall bang from Vice. And Cloud9 has the perfect setup for whatever gimmick play 100 Thieves just came out with. Unfortunately for them, each aspect of this approach has been shut down and locked down by Cloud9. The kills just come one after another, and suddenly Nitro exactly. is alone in heaven. That was a perfect. There are three players in the bomb site, two over in heaven, and this is a hundred thieves bomb site through and through. Cloud Nine, if you just check the mini map, they already save. packed their bags, vacated the uh, area, and they're looking to save over a day. And this is a uh, that's one of those rounds where you may be poked out mid for mid aggression, and I, I respect the attempt out of, out yep. of Cloud Nine, but. To stick around in that omen smoke, play the spray battle, even if you are rocking a phantom and, and feel like you're a little safe. Unfortunately, that there's just not a lot of room to miss. Tens ate the first five or six bullets out of uh, Austin as phantom, and it, that round was history at that point. Vice will fall, but three three weapons for Cloud9 would be great. I don't know if they're going to get the opportunity to, though. We're looking for exits. Here's least. relics. Glex one, Mitch somehow kills himself by tens. 25 seconds remaining on the clock. The A push is coming now. Huge. Pushing through that elbow position in the screen smoke is Tens with his Empress out. Austin had no chance. Relics and Tens with a firing squad on the site. Collecting oh. one after another, and this should be GG. And there it is. Relics rocket jumping to victory. 13 to 8. Cloud9 takes the